October 30th, 2024. I've recently upgraded my internet service. I'm now fiber um, per AT&T, one gig each way. I normally run 940 megabytes by 940. Uh, pretty solid, it really is good. It was less expensive than the big uh, cable company that starts with a C. You know, the C word. So here we go, I'm gonna do a uh, speed test. And I'll just pick one real quick. And I did switch to uh, Firefox and DuckDuckGo. So let's, let's do this here. Um, And we'll just pick the first one. I don't know. Any, as long as it's over 900, I'm cool. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to block out that IP. It says go, Rancho Marietta. And uh, I did uh, change my DNS server because I was... Uh, I was using Quad9, which is really good, but it is so secure that sometimes it slows stuff down just incrementally. And uh, it's pretty weird. 939.94 down. And let's see what we get on the upload. 932. Okay, so that's my new uh, internet provider. The other thing I did is um, I switched to um, free DNS and it's by uh, AdGuard dash one. I think the dash one means it's a free service. I'm not sure. I don't know what the dash one is. When I loaded it and it came up, it says I'm using AdGuard. I did a online check of it and it got a hundred percent for and actually in tests I've seen online the it blocks as much as quad nine as far as ads i believe since quad nine is in switzerland they have stricter security rules about reselling stuff but i'm not too worried about that i still have a chromebook so can't be too worried what i really noticed about the adguard is when I opened up my Roku this morning, and I only changed it a day ago, the little ads that are sitting on the home screen are gone. It blocked the ads on my Roku. And I have four Rokus. Every one of them, regardless of the software, there were no ads. Check it out. So that's just an FYI about that. And uh, I'm really happy with uh, my fiber network now. It's great. I was a cable internet guy for 20 plus years. Uh, when I cord I was doing the cord cutting, I think 20, 10, 11, 12, something around there, um, I got internet only from Comcast and I had my own modem, which I bought at another C word place, big box, Costco. And, uh, so I got my bill down to around 60 bucks a month, which is pretty good. And I got uh, 300 over 10. And, as, and I had no contract. And every once in a while, they would chop the speed down. And I would call up and they go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been with us so long, 20 plus years. And, uh, but I said, I don't want a contract. Well, all of a sudden here this year, I get a little conflict over my bill. There, uh, they had gone up to seventy dollars, and then it went to eighty dollars, and then it was eighty-four dollars. And I called up and deal, did with that. I was going to cancel them because I was looking into other uh, alternative internet providers. And they told me, "Well, you're you're on a contract." I said, "No, I'm not." I never agreed to a contract. And I said, show me where I agreed to it and what day. And they, some clown over there had upped my speed to 400 about two years ago. 400 down and it was 12 up. 
And they go, well, you're on 400 by, and you only get that if you're on a contract. I go, I never agreed to a contract. And I, you can see on my previous bills, I said there was no contract. There was a limit of my download speed, which I never went over the total uh, gigabytes. So I, they basically were really jerks. And I had to call them to cancel just my internet service. There was no way online to cancel my cable provided internet, which I'd been with for years. So I went to and started looking at all the 5G wireless and then I got on AT&T and, and uh, they said, hey, you know, we'll, we, got a, we have fiber, you're in a new home area in the last five years and we have fiber there and we'll provide uh, no charge. I tried to do it online, but I had my credit blocked for security due to an Equifax issue that they had, not me. So that's cool. So I talked to the guy and uh, he goes, yeah, we'll give you uh, some gift cards and one won't charge to have it. And I go, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel my cable. And I go, uh, so what day should I cancel? He goes, we'll be out tomorrow morning. And sure enough, they were. There's no modem fee, or actually it's an ONT. That's the interface for fiber, optical. And uh, it works, and it, I've had one outage, and it was basically a few hours, somebody cut a fiber. We're semi-rural here, not rural-rural, but it's a subdivision that's a little more rural. And everything's been working great. So, hey, you just have to look at this Firefox, man, and this uh, duck, duck, go. The combo, because I have uh, used Linux Mint 22, and it works. And I actually, another little update, I just got Steam to work on my mini PC, which is crazy, and it actually works. So that was it. I'm done. I'm going to shut this off and see what it sounds like. Bye.